teenage singer who decided to go on a racist rant. Let me uh, give you more of that video. Here it is. Mexicans and Middle Easterns out. All they do is want to kill people. Kyle Lau, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and honors and salutations to Yahweh out there that's laboring in his truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, the name of this show is going to be Why Are You Surprised? Because we done told you that the so called white man is the devil. Now, this is a video. I'm not sure the name of this this uh, brother. Okay, indisputable. I don't know if this is his page, but um, the, the uh, Captain uh, Karab Bishop, uh, up and coming elder uh, Karab Amoth. He has sent me this video, and I seen it. I'm definitely not surprised. And you got a lot of this going on, you know. But you know, you you would think that uh, niggas would wake up. But now nah, niggas is still asleep, man. All right, she's going in talking all kind of shit. And I'm going to play some more of the clip. All right, and, and script, all kind of scriptures came to my head. But see, here's, again, here's what they think about you. A lot of you niggas, you like to sit there and, and show your teeth. You ready to murder your own kind, your own so-called brother. That's why we say the hell with you niggas, man. Because you won't do nothing to, to these devils. That this is, And this, is what they, this goes on in all their houses, man. All right? Which, you know, it really, to me, I ain't offended. Because one, I'm not black. Two, I'm not an African, all right? And, and the, the so-called Mexican, that's not our true identity. We're the real Israelites, man. And see, and she's talking about hell, Hitler, and all of that, right? And see, they won't, they wouldn't, uh, she had to de delete her page, all right? If we sit here and say certain things that, you know, even nothing that's really not controversial, just truth, they want to take our pages down. But she's saying hell, Hitler. But Hitler... He, he even knew that we were the Israelites, man. Okay? And that's why he was mad at them damn, you know, the uh, big nose people. All right? But he, he knew it. He said to be a Jew is to be a uh, Shawatza. Shawatza, you know? Which means black. That's why you got um the name Arnold Schwartz, Schwarzacre or Schwarzenegger. Right? Which simply means a black farmer. All right? So... But this is what, here's what they think about you. You know, I wasn't surprised whatsoever when I seen this, man. Because there's a lot of these devils that think like like this, man. But a lot of you niggas, man, you, and and I, I don't want to call you Uncle Tom. Because like the Pastor Ronald said, which is true when you watch, uh, they got documentaries floating about Uncle Tom. I think his name was Josiah Henson or Hanson or something like that. You know, he was a, in the sense of the word of Uncle Tom in the beginning. He did some you know, some real sellout shit, but then he redeemed himself towards the end, you know, the spirit worked with him, he was able to, he was trying to free Jake, you know, from, or actually he did free some Jakes out of slavery and, and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, they, they uh, demonized him afterwards, and, you know, he had that, that book in the, the turn of the century, Uncle Tom's Cabin, and then they started doing minstrel shows with a goofy, you know, step and fetch it nigga and they called him uncle. So that's where that phrase come from, you know, but you niggas are worth, I don't know, Sambo, this is the, the ultimate worst sellout, man. That's what you niggas have become, you know? Like I said, I don't want to say Uncle Tom just in the sense of the, the man actually, he repented of that, okay? He he, got, he he turned around and was free, but he still was off too because he was into that bullshit Christianity though, you know? But nonetheless, you niggas will sit there and accept these devils and and you trust and love them and this is what happens and then your heart get broken when you find out that oh my god i can't believe they said they say worse things than this honestly hitler was a pretty quality man and he went out the right way by killing himself i feel like i'd rather kill myself than be killed by a firing squad See, favorite, and what is over there, just shitting all over 
you you ninjas, okay? <laughs> they getting they ain't saying ninjas too. They say digger. They saying the real N word, man. See, in the comfort of their own house, that's what they'll do. And whatever, it's their prerogative. They got it's America, right? The problem is, is that you niggas thought that it was all about equality, all right? And that was the mistake that the uh what's his name? Um, Josiah Henson, who they called the first Uncle Tom, who they named that after. He was thinking about being a Christian and it was going to be fair. And he had to learn the hard way that you can't trust this devil. All right. But see, he probably didn't read this scripture at the time. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 10. And this is the first scripture that came in my mind when I seen these devils. I'm thinking about, I'm like, all right, well, I know that this is how these devils are. I'm pretty sure, I, shit, I do work in a lot of these devils' houses. And I'm pretty sure majority of, some of them are actually, Jakes, some of them are actually niggas, and, and I know that they might not know it, but I, you know, because you know, through the spirit, the Lord revealed to us about the Israelite foreigners. So I don't, you know, I'm not looking at them just because they might have so called white skin or might say that they're Italian, germ. you know, you can see in their spirit. But I'm talking about working some straight up Edomites' houses, you know, and, and, and they'll act like they so nice and this, that, and the third. But I know that this goes on, and I, whatever, at the end of the day, hey. Is is not personal, man. You know, this actually. So you got to understand that this thing, this thing, go back not to sign the minor league for brothers who remember from back in the thirty fourth days, thirty fourth and seventh. Remember that brother out there? You know when he used to, you know, be, you know he might be Josiah Henson because sometimes he used to try to, you know, what I'm saying like try to uh, ease the blows for them devils, man. But then he he cut them too, so you know. But anyway, nonetheless, it does, it goes back to Jacob and Esau, man. All right. And see, and, and this is what a lot of these Jake walk knucklehead niggas out here walking around without this knowledge and this truth in them. And that's why they gone for, they bound to, to fall. All right. No matter what height they might think they reach, they're going to drop even further, man. All these Jakes, you got like these uh, so-called celebrities and, and, you know, like uh, your, your Floyd Mayweathers, your Denzel Washingtons, your... You, well, not Kobe's, you, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, you know, the, the Tysons, you, you, uh, uh, you know, all the, the so-called gods of the sports world, the, the, the acting, entertainment world. They Here it is, they got these benefits, but they don't got the knowledge, man. All right? And the scriptures say in Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit if not in the day of wrath. We're in a time of wrath, man. See, we're in a time where the most high is going to be checking a lot of behavior. That's why there's a lot of things happening. Ain't none of you bad as the most high, man. Ain't none of your arms uh, long enough, all uh, right, to box with the most high, man. Okay, the most high will, will, will fucking kill you without lifting a finger, man. All right? So a lot of y'all going to learn to be humble. Those of you who got all... Cause a lot, man, Jake got so many different beliefs because everybody... And the scriptures say um, every man is brutish by, by, his own, by his knowledge because everybody got their belief system, idols, gods, good luck charms. They so-called prayers, they pray before they go on the stage or go out to play or whatever. But this it's not the truth because you're not first of all, you got to deal with the name. The name is important, man. But see, again, because why? A lot of you still got that that uh Babylon juice up in you. All right. You got that old sweet Jesus embedded in your soul, all right, from your great grandmother or your mama, all right? And you mama boy niggas, mama, mama, you ready to Kill the whole motherfucking nation of saints for your wicked ass mother, right? So you ain't going to get it, man. And you're going to be fucked up because you, you, your mother taught you to uh, forgive and, and let the white man do whatever to you, but be evil towards your own brother that looks like you, you see? And, and, and the thing is, is you don't understand what's it all about. So anyway, I'm going to go to uh, Genesis chapter 25 and, and I'll start at 21. It says, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, right? Because Rebecca, barren meaning she couldn't get pregnant. It said, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, was entreated of him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And that's the power of prayer because he was a righteous man. He prayed to the Most High because, see, back then, that was a shame for a woman not to have, a, a, to be barren, not to be pregnant. Because why? Why was that a, a shame? Was it why was it a bad thing in a term called a, a barren woman? Why was that? Because why? A woman was created for that was the purpose that she was created for. So if she couldn't get pregnant and have children by her husband, one husband, then she was worthless, man. There was no no need for her to be alive. You see? So that's why it was a big deal 
back then. All right, now it's a curse, man. Then it, in a way, praying the opposite, like, oh, shit, I hope I don't get this bitch prep, you know? But back then, that's what it was. So the Lord was entreated, and he allowed uh, Isaac's wife to be pregnant. That's what it means she conceived, all right? It says, and the children struggled together within her. So now it's letting you know she's pregnant with one, more than one seed or, or more than one uh, uh, child, all right? So it said the children struggled, meaning they were fighting within her. So she was going through all type of hell. She caught hell during this pregnancy. And this is the reason why I said you got to go back to here because what this is, this is that fight that you have right now, the so-called black man versus the white man, okay, which is really goes back to Rebecca when she was pregnant in the womb. All right, there was water and oil. We were never meant to get along, man. So that's, and, and I'm going to read on. The Lord's going to say it. So he, he said, and she said, if it be so, why am I dust? If I was pr blessed to get pregnant, why am I going through all these complications and these children just fighting? And they were scrapping and grappling up, up inside the womb. He said, and she went to inquire the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Now, you know, it don't mean two because a nation could be a million, two million. It don't mean a, a group of people like that. They can't fit inside the womb of a woman. So what does it mean when it says two nations? Meaning the progenitor of two nations, man. Which today is called so uh, black and white. Which is not really, the, that's not the, a nation. All right. In our actuality, it was a nation of Israel and a nation of Esau or Edom. That's what was in the womb. Jacob and Esau fighting. Said in two manner of people. Should be separate, two types of people, different type of people. That's like right now. We don't really got nothing in common unless you force it. You understand? Unless you try to mingle and, mi you know? And even then, it's still, the, you know, the, the oil and, and the water always separates. You can shake it together as much as you want. Eventually, it separates. Just like these devils. Eventually, they true colors sh show, man. All right? So that's not all these, these actual devils, these real devils out there, all right, that grew up in the home with a bunch of other devils and everything. That's what they think about you. They can give two shits about you. So it said, and two men of people should be separated from thy bowels. And the one people should be stronger than the other people. All right? And a lot of people don't read about this, man. They overlook look these things, man. But it says one people is going to be stronger. And we are the stronger people. Naturally, man. Everybody's trying to even. And we're at the lowest state ever. The nature, our, us as a whole, as a people. Our people are scattered. They don't know where they are. They're praying, playing to all, uh, praying to all kind of false gods, strung out on all kind of drugs, all kind of sicknesses, all kind of diseases, all kind of foul spirits. A woman is on the worst level they've ever been, the biggest whores ever. These niggas are just, you know, just a bunch of uh, uh, effeminate, you know what I'm saying, uh, emotional bitches, all right? They're on the lowest level ever, and you still got the so-called white man and the other nations emulating us wanting to be like us still trying to do the things we do and, and study us and be like us listen to the music even though the music that that our people make now is the worst it, it ever was not to say that it was ever righteous in this day and age but at least it was a, more like sounded good the music sounded better in the 50s 60s and 70s 80s you know in the 90s it started deteriorating and to now man it's just the worst slop ever man but you got these crackers and these Edomites, they groove into it because why? They ain't got no soul. They don't got the spirit that we got. At our worst, we're better than them. And see, and the Lord said, two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels. One people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So the one who came out first, because she was pregnant with twins, all right? And he said the first one was going to be a servant to the younger. And Okay, and when you read on, Matter of fact, I'm going to read on. And when the days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. And he called his name Esau. Okay? I shot you up. Wasted away is he. Because why? He didn't have no type of coloring. That pig, the Mosai stripped that, that melanin from him. Okay? Which is another reason why they hate us, man. They know that they're abnormal people, man. All right? And that's why they came with all these narratives you know blondes have more fun that's a damn lie that's leprosy you ain't supposed to have no goddamn blonde hair but you got all people walking around trying you know dye their hair blind and trying to look like these damn cursed people these devils man 
And they are the cursed people. The scriptures tell you that. All right. So now, again, this was the scripture that came to my mind. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. All right. And this is how these devils feel deep inside. All right. Now I'm going to play some more of the video. crazy okay i have an update for this story that includes the parents of this uh young racist individual but before i go to the parent side there was more video here's the other part oh god <laughs> Now, now they sit there and talk about us, you know, but look at these devils. And I'm telling you, this is it's not the first kind. But the problem is, is our people trust these people. They they love these people more than they love themselves, man. You know, and, and that's where the problem is. That's why the most high is angry with a lot of our people, man. You're going to have a lot of our people that's not going to make it, man. All right, so now I'm going to jump to um Isaiah, I mean, Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah first. Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. And see, and that's why the Most High is not going to be waiting for Jake, man. Jake that's not ready to wake up, you know, Jake that still want to be in that simple-minded state, the Most High is going to leave you here in this destruction, man. Because it's hard time to wake up out of sleep, man. All right? You sitting up there looking at the Most High like he's an enemy, man. The Lord said that you're supposed to grow a beard on your face, not shave your hair, you know, bald, right? Not, not wear long hair. You see, like a woman. And y'all got a problem with the most high. The most high said, don't put no tattoos on your body. Well, why? What's wrong with that? I'm all grim. You see? Your mother, I mean, uh, your, your mother's uh, birth date and all this other stuff all over your body next to a psalm. The most high ain't with that, man. The most high said, don't eat no pork. Don't eat no shrimp. Don't eat no lobster. Don't commit adultery. Don't sleep with another man's woman. All right? And, and I, man, I pray the most high strike adulterers down, man. I pray you strike them down. Niggas that straight up out here. I mean, we're all an adulterous generation, technically, but I'm talking about niggas that gloat in it, that love it. Because one thing, you know, you're dealing with a woman, you know, she used to deal with a man, got a child by another man, but they not together, he died or whatever, hey. But it's another thing when you willingly, like, know that, a, you know, a bitch is dealing with a man, and you still hollering at her, yo, shorty, come over here, man, fuck that nigga. Come over here, come creep with me for a minute, man. I know you stressed, blah, 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 go smoke this, this L and... Whatever else niggas be saying to these bitches, them niggas, man, they gotta go, man. They gotta go. There's a lot of grimy, low life niggas, you know, amongst our people, man. You know, and I'm thinking about a few of them, man. And the most I take them out, I'm, I'm gonna just really, I might have a drink, man. You know, cause that's a, a low, a low life, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got niggas that are like that, man. They they don't want to do what the most I said, but they'll. Follow after this white man, so Esau. Follow after his ways. They'll trust him and take, you know, the uh, the J to the A, to the B. All right. They'll trust him and take these things. You know, even if we tell them the Most High said not to do it, they don't want to hear that. So anyway, Jeremiah thirty and twelve. It said, "For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous." And that's our people, the state that they're in. They're in a wounded state. They don't have no breath in them. They don't have no real life. They don't know the truth. They, they're just doing wickedness and more wickedness. That's why the Lord said he ain't tired of punishing you. Now he's just going to kill you. So there's none to plead thy cause. And who's really speaking up for the cause of you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, uh, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Native American Indians, Seminole Indians, the real 12 tribes of Israel? Who's speaking up for you? Who's telling you why that you're in the bottom? Why? You're being forced to do things against your will. Why the so-called white man is ruling over you and kicking you out of your house? Why your household is all fucked up and, and you know, drugs one way or the other destroyed? Like, hey, the Bishop Todd said that the other day, which he's right. Them drugs destroyed a lot of our homes, man, Jake's homes, man. One way or the other, whether, you know, your family was selling the drugs or if your family was the one strung out on the drugs. Either way, it brought death and, and, and desolation, poverty, and everything else, man. 
in hard times, man. Okay, but why? Why? Because the so-called white man, he, he had a plan to uh, break break Jake down, man, which is the curses. But yet, you niggas still trust in him, man. No matter what he do to you, you still trust in him. So the Lord said, There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have for, forgotten thee. Yeah, because Esau is only your friend when he needs you, man. Okay? Once they don't need you no more, they don't give a damn. And that's why even Eve, they, Esau going to get rid of Eve. Okay? Esau is tired of Eve, man. Because Eve done got beside herself, man. Esau was just using her. And he used her already. So now he don't need her no more. He used her to what? To turn and, and, and exhort her over the so-called black man, which is the, the Israelite man, all the tribes, and, and to make her put hell upon him and, and, be, and, you know, and just basically turn into an enemy. So that's done already. So he don't need need these devils no more. That's how he saw it is. He'll use you and then then you don't want nothing to do with you. You know? So it said, Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. And in, in these times, here it is going to be a lot of people being evicted out of their homes. And they're not going to be able to get no no love from the uh, courts or the judges. Hell, most of these judges are the, are the f parents of, of chicks like her. All right? Look, that's he's a judge. That's her father. He's a he's a judge. All right. Matter of fact, the Jake is gonna break it down. Okay, they literally look like they should grow ears and have a tail. Boy, did the job. I had that up too loud. Bro. No, but not the ones that are like. Woo. <laughs> yes, they do. It's a curious George. Yeah, like, Fucking cage dog. And you would think they got some nerve to talk shit about anybody, man. How is they are? Really, she could have came with some damn shame. More clever. That's Gracie Wood, a popular <laughs> singer. This is in South Carolina. I don't know how popular okay? she is. She probably popular. I ain't never now, heard of her. I have said this many times, and I stand by it. Racist children, racist parents. It's not really a hard connection here. Okay. But her parents, the devil her mother too. in particular, that. happens to be a somebody in that local community, a news anchor. The oh, story okay. I, I, I gets that. deeper. Her mother, her name is Amy Woods. Let's put up their family photo. Amy Woods is a news anchor for WSPA TV in Greenville, South Carolina. See, so that's why you got the description said never trust thine enemy, man. And he's down, and I know too because the, uh, the brother Manata Zaba uh, of form, well, he's in S South Carolina, back and forth to Arizona. Right, but I, I remember years ago he used to tell me down there about these devils, man. Everywhere he go, he said even on the job where he's at, you know, he used to tell me that back then, and, and, it, and it's true. You know what I'm saying? There's places where it's straight up blatant racist racism. You had the other judge, and she got caught on the ring camera calling niggas say, ah, black people are just like roaches. They're a bunch of roaches, the niggas, and she got caught. And she was a judge, so you know that's why you're not getting no justice because. This is their system. They're running things, man. Job 9 and 24. But we've been telling you these things for the longest, man. So that's why the hell with you niggas, man. You niggas fight against us. But then when Esau fucks you over, you find out that he's the, the devil we've been telling you about. Now is a problem. Now you all messed up and distraught. All right? I know. Grace's father is Mike Wood, a magistrate judge. Hmm. Yeah. Grayson was a popular Instagram influencer and singer songwriter, but has now. Yeah, see, he got the 411 on them devils, man. All right. But now it says, again, it says, All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. And that's what we've been telling Jake that look, man, you better get it together, man. The Lord is coming back. Once Yahweh Shai come back, ain't gonna be no talking, man. The Lord Himself said it. I will not meet thee, no longer meet thee as a man. When the Lord come back, He coming back with that sword drawn, man. He just gonna, it's just gonna be slaying, a relentless slaying that is gonna be going on, man. And the elect of Israel are gonna be delivered through the midst of that. And then ultimately, those nuclear missiles they will drop. The Lord is gonna cause them to drop, and they are gonna burn everything, everything, especially over here in America. So this, you know, Jake, if you really hear this, you better get yourself right. If not, just die. Die to death, man. See, the Lord said, why criest thou for thine affliction? 
Thy sorrow is incurable for the, because it's going to get worse. All right. And that's why they got a lot of these different groups out here and they're training them to roll up in some of you areas where Jake's is at, man. So they, they still be lynching niggas uh, here and there down south, different parts of the south and everything, man. You talk about niggas going missing. Yeah, because them, them niggas be getting, you know, pulled out there in the woods. They just had um one, I think he was a so-called Jamaican dude. They invited him on a hunting hunting trip. And he was the he was the uh prey that they was hunting. And they found them, they, they fucked them all up, man. You know, and, and they sw they swept it under the rug. They don't talk about that as much. But when that fucking stupid bitch, whoever the fuck she was, went missing, because you know, a cannibal eating a cannibal looking boyfriend she had killed her or whatever got into an argument killed her and he was on a run for what two months they had that thing all throughout the damn main major media here it is you had the west indian jamaican dude simple as he was went with went with these crackers on a hunting trip and they killed them and they swept it under the rug you see so that's why the lord said why cries for thy affliction thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity because thy sins will increase, I have done these things unto thee. The most I allow these devils to get over us, man. And seeing the Lord said that, we were going to become a, a proverb and a byword. So that's why you got the, this little 17-year-old uh, cave bitch on the internet talking about niggas and uh, monkeys. You know, you can't tell her nothing different. You know, uh, black-ass niggas and using the N-word crazy and, you know, talk about kill them all. Yeah, well, that's how they, they feel. But now the Lord said, therefore... This is the flip side. There is a flip side to it. All right. There's still hope. The Lord said, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So, you know, the most is going to deliver us, man. We ain't going to always be to pray for these devils, man. You know, it's just that right now, you know, they got the upper hand. And the scripture is telling the psalm, the wicked in his uh the wicked in his pride. Let me get that real quick. It's locky, bro. It's late, man. I was gonna go to bed, but the brother, you know, you see one thing, you're like, oh man, oh no, nah, I gotta put this down, Lord willing. But um Psalms 10 and 3 it said, For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all his thoughts. And you can clearly see that, man. You can clip in that video, you can see. But um, at the first verse, it says, Why standest thou far off, O Lord? How about Shimei was shy? Because it seems like that, right? Because you're like, damn, how the hell are these devils able to get away with just, a, you know, making mockery and just destroying Jake and everything? Well, we read about it previously in Jeremiah, the, uh, the 30th chapter. The Lord said, because of thy sins. All right? The most high said he's wounded us. Like a, a, with the wound of an enemy, he let these devils put bring this hell upon us. Verse 2, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. The poor is all people, man. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined, which that's what's happening, man. Like even these, these plagues that they put out there to destroy us, they're they going to backfire and fuck their asses up a lot. There's a video I want to do, but I got, I'm going to have to do it probably on the, um, on the Odyssey channel, Lord willing, I get a chance. Because if I put it up here, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? They're going to strike the hell out of it, man. They might send helicopters and shit over my house or whatever, you know. But Lord willing, if I get a chance, I'm going to do that video. But, you know, things are going to backfire, man. You see, because the Lord, he's, you know, he ain't, this devil wasn't going to be in power forever, man. You see? But um, anyway, I mean, the main thing was there, man. The scriptures say, never trust thy enemies. I mean, you know, you know how it go, man interest of time had a few other scriptures but i mean the point is made man the point is made man. i just the brother sent me that and i was like man i said i ain't even surprised man you know but anyway anyway with that give all praise glory and honor to you how about shimmy i was shy say shalom to you sincere akim yeah how about shimmy i was shy brackethon shalom